Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and this is what I think about Book of Boba Fett. We would be honored if you would join us. All right, so Book of Boba Fett, brand new series out on Disney Plus. And those of you who've watched my channel, either here or you've watched some of my other channels, you know that I'm a huge fan of the Fett. I love Boba Fett biggest fan. The last time I went to uh, Disney World, every single one of my shirts uh, was Boba Fett themed. And so, uh, yeah, just love, love, love everything about Boba Fett. Um, so probably you've been waiting for this, right? Waiting for me to tell you what I thought about the series. Because the other thing that I make a habit of saying all the time is, I'm a fan, right? I'm a fan of Star Wars. I don't complain about anything. I don't complain about the directors or the story or the fact that Disney bought them or Lucas or... Yeah, uh, so tiring. Like, I'm a fan. If you put Star Wars on it, I love it. And um, I've loved a lot of things that notoriously a lot of fans haven't liked. I liked uh, the Han Solo story. I love that a lot, okay? I love a lot of the novels that people don't particularly like as much. Uh, and I liked the cartoons. I like Resistance. I like Rebels. So yeah, I, I typically like things that other fans don't like. That said, the book of Boba Fett has received a lot of mixed reviews out there, like you'd expect. People love it. People hate it, right? And they've all been voicing their own opinions about why they think it's great or why they don't. I don't want to go into all the little, the, uh, the, the detail, right? <laughs> I don't want to sit there and flip coin after coin about all the things that could be right or wrong. I want to give you three things, all right? Three things. That's it. Just three things. And I'll start by saying I'm watching it. I'm watching it. I'm not, you know, not watching it and saying, oh, I'm not going to watch it because they've ruined my favorite character. I'm not doing that. I'm not here to say that. I wouldn't want to say that. But if the creators of Book of Boba Fett pulled me in and said, David, we know that you're a super fan of Boba Fett and we really appreciate your opinion. How could we have made the show better. Here's just my three humble suggestions. Number one, the costume, right? The costume. When we saw Boba Fett the first time ever, all we saw was the costume. We didn't even see him in a movie. He hadn't even been in a film, right? He was an action figure. That was it. He was an action figure and he was uh, a character on the Christmas special. That was it. That's all we knew. And he had a fan base before we heard his voice, before we saw him move, he, we, we were all over it, right? Because of the costume. And so somebody said, hey, people love Boba Fett. Let's do a series about Boba Fett. What are some of the things we could change? Uh, the costume? Uh, no. The costume, right? The costume. This is what makes Boba Fett Boba Fett for all of us. The dented helmet, all the battle damage, the gauntlets, the Wookiee scalps, the cape, you know, the, the rocket firing knees, all the little things in his pockets, the shoes. This is what we think of when we think of Boba Fett. We think of this. So I don't know why they wanted to clean him up, give him a new paint job, replace some parts, make his costume less complicated, give him a different blaster. Like they changed his look and it's so iconic, right? It's so iconic. So I don't understand that process. I don't understand that decision to where you have a fan base and we, this is the character we love and then they change it. Now my second point kind of goes along with my first point. The other thing that we've always loved about Boba Fett is his mysteriousness, right? He was only on camera for minutes. He had barely any lines and he never took this off. He never took his helmet off. We didn't know what he looked like underneath there. There was speculations. There was, you know, pictures in Marvel comics, but nobody had ever seen Boba Fett with his helmet off. And the T visor and this helmet, it's again, so iconic to who he is. So to just hear his like mechanized voice come out of that mask and to be so ominous, that's what we love. And then, and let me just say, that's what Mandalorian did great. The Mandalorian show, we didn't see his face for forever, right? For forever. And, and even though we knew what the actor looked like, just the fact that we hadn't seen the character's face, 
really helped us feel like this is what we would want from Boba Fett. Like it almost was like the Mandalorian, when they did that show, they said, well, we can't do a show about Boba Fett, so let's do the next best thing. Let's do a show that appeals to all the fans of Boba Fett and kind of give them Boba Fett, but as a different character. And that's what I loved about The Mandalorian. Like I felt like The Mandalorian did a great impersonation of Boba Fett. Like that's what I wanted. I wanted him to do that, those kind of missions and be that kind of character that was really, you know, neutral, not good, not bad, just kind of right down the middle, somebody to look out for himself. Somebody that didn't take the mask off was the gunslinger. Like that's what we wanted. And then we get Book of Boba Fett and they start taking his mask off all the time. So just to recap with my second point being the mystery. I feel like they kept the mystery going with Mandalorian very well. Great stories, great scripts, great acting. They kept that mystery going and, and it was it was awesome. And they and Boba Fett didn't really have a lot of lore anyway to begin with, other than what was, you know, created in the books or in the comics. But as far as film, like there hadn't been anything. So I feel like there was a ton of mystery still there. And I feel like Book of Boba Fett is like quick to remove mystery, remove mystery. Like they want to tell you stuff, right? This, oh, let me, blah, 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 and they want to tell you all this stuff. And I'm like, no, 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 I don't want to hear all this stuff. I'd rather see him do things and keep the mystery, right? I don't, all the backstory about him and the Tusken Raiders and all that, it just felt too, it felt too like soft and squishy and nice. And I, I want him to be more the gunslinger, more the loner, more the, I don't talk to people, I work for myself, it's me, you know, versus everybody else. All right, so we've talked about costume, we've talked about mysteriousness. The third thing I would add is know your audience. Know your audience, okay? And I'll start off by saying, I know there's a lot of young people that love Boba Fett too. There are, I get it, but, when you look at shows like Resistance or Rebels, or even like the new trilogies that have come out, it's obvious that their main audience is still young people, even kids, right? And it's been uh, the theme for Star Wars since the beginning. It's always been a show for kids or people who are young at heart, right? But I think the people that have been with Boba Fett and your primary fan base are gonna be the guys like me or gals who've grown up with Boba Fett since they were kids. So you're really not looking at even, you know, 30 year olds, you're looking at 50 year olds or 60 year olds. You're looking at us, at us old guys with gray hair. Like we're your, we're your base fans that have been with Boba Fett since the beginning, right? And so I think your first responsibility is to your core fandom. That's your first responsibility. And I think that for us, when you start taking away his costume, when you start taking away the mysteriousness, it feels like you don't know us. It feels like you don't know your audience, right? Whereas Mandalorian was brand new, you just, you build an audience, right? You build an audience. And I think for certain, I can watch my children, 13 years old, eight years old, they love Mandalorian right along with me. So it's great, something I can enjoy with my kids. But Boba Fett has always been like my thing, right? My thing. And so, just to say, you know what, know your audience. So just to give you an example, like, you know, two episodes ago, uh, Boba Fett went to that uh, cybernetics techno bar tattoo shop. That was the worst thing I have ever seen in a Star Wars show. <laughs> like, talk about know your audience. You're on Tatooine, which is all sand, right? It's desert. The, the teenagers of Tatooine want to leave, you know, like we saw with Luke. They want to get out of there. They don't want to body modify themselves with tech. Like they don't even have, they don't have credits to do stuff like that. They, they're, you know, they're moisture farmers. They, these, these kids don't have, you know, they don't have money to build cybernetic stuff into their bodies or ride around on mopeds. Like <laughs> Luke wasn't having any fun on Tatooine, <laughs> right? And just the music took me out of it, the music was not Star Wars. It felt like it was just a grab at a younger audience. It was like, hey, what can we do to get the kids to watch? And I was like, mm, know your audience. Know your audience. You've got to appeal to them first. And you got to get them on board. You got to get them 
to get the buy-in. I know, I've rambled, I've rambled, and it sounds like I'm complaining. I don't wanna complain, I don't wanna complain, because I love Star Wars and I love Boba Fett, and I'm gonna stick with this show, I'm gonna watch all of them, no question, and I'll support it, and I'll back it, and I will be a fan, of course. But, I'm just saying, if the creators of the show were to ask my opinion, that's what I would say. Don't change the costume, keep the mysteriousness, and know your audience. One more thing. <laughs> if you're a fan of Boba Fett, you know this is not even his screen-used costume. So, trivia for you. This is not his screen-used costume. This was a production shot that was taken before filming began. Um, he didn't keep these gloves. And there's a couple of other very subtle things uh, that got changed. But just so you know, if you were looking at this going, I don't recognize his gloves. Um, yeah, this, this, this is not the screen, this is not that finished screen used costume from Boba Fett, a little tiny piece of Boba Fett trivia. All that to say, thanks for watching. Boba Fett is awesome. May the force be with you.